Hey guys, welcome to my tiny house, Tutoring Tranquility. This is where I reinvented my life after my diagnosis of MS in 2011. 2016, we took control of our lives, bought a tiny house, and boom, we're going for it. So it's Katrina TK. Welcome back, MS peeps. Conquer MS, where life begins with a redesign. Today, I'm gonna to go through and show you a super easy appetizer that you could make ahead of time, take your nap, and then be ready for your festivities. So let's wrap and roll and start this appetizer. These are gonna be stuffed dates wrapped with bacon. And today I'm gonna to do two versions actually, bacon and turkey bacon. And then I'm gonna stuff it with goat cheese. Pop them in the oven and they're so delicious and your guests are going to absolutely love them. If you have tremors and you have a hard time using the knife, my best tip is to use scissors. It's super easy and you have more control. So snip off the end, turn the date around, and then snip the side, open up the sandwich, and there's the pit. Now we have all our dates that have the pits removed. And the next step is to take your goat cheese. We have our goat cheese here, and I love goat cheese because people that are lactose intolerant do much better with goat cheese. And if you saw my last episode on creating pumpkin pie, you'll realize a lot of times I have to use my hands because it's very difficult for me to even hold on to utensils at times. And believe it or not, it does create more fatigue. So I'm gonna show you a super easy way to stuff these dates with the goat cheese. But first, I'm gonna wash my hands. So now that I just washed my hands, the easiest way to do it is take up some of your, your cheese. It's really soft if you leave it out for about an hour out of the refrigerator. It gets very soft and this is easy to do. And it's actually kind of fun. So you have your dates, your goat cheese. Boom. So this is your third and final step before nap time. So I have pork bacon and also turkey bacon. And I'm gonna do both different kinds today. Same same actions, super easy. Take the stuffed date and just simply roll it, wrap and roll. And then I actually put my toothpicks into a jar. It's easier than a box. And poke your, your date stuffed with goat cheese and you're done. That's one turkey roll. Now we're gonna do pork bacon. I just poke it at the end, push it through, there we go. I've cut the bacon just in half because otherwise it's too long and it's too much bacon on one date. And it saves money that way. Okay, now these have been rolled, stuffed, and they're ready to be popped in the oven. Super fast and easy. 425 for about 10 minutes. There we go. Set my timer. And I love this oven 
because it beeps at me. Believe it or not, 10 minutes later, I would forget. There we go. 10 minutes, we're good to go. I'm gonna clean this up and then set up my platter so it's gonna be beautiful and it's gonna look like the best food porn that you've ever shared with anyone else. And it's healthy. If you're loving this video and any previous videos, do me a big favor, go down, hit the su subscribe button, and also hit that bell. And that will allow you to be notified every time I upload a new video of tips and tricks and how to survive and conquer MS. So this is a community. Let me know what you want to see in future videos, and I would be honored to be able to film that for you. It's actually been about 20 minutes, not 10 minutes. And just checking them, they look delicious. I don't like my bacon raw, but I don't like it crispy either. So it's just got to be perfect. Wow, these are amazing. The house smells amazing, and they are the perfect appetizer to serve your guests before the holiday meal. Oh, time's up. So I've had my nap. It's time to serve up these wrap goodies to the guest and just know that they're healthy. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Conquer MS, where life begins with a redesign.